Hello everyone, welcome to NASCAR Studio 3. I'm Jonathan Merriman here with Ryan Blaney and Dave Blaney. Now, Ryan, you're throwing back to your dad's 2003 Jasper paint scheme. Tell me a little bit about how that came about and you were able to surprise him at Penske uh, with the uh, unveil of that car. Menards was gonna be a sponsor on the car for this race and this was one of the options and I you know, didn't hesitate to uh, jump on it. So really cool that Menards was you know, allowing us to do it and then Penske was cool with it too. So. Uh, you always want to have something special, uh, you know, at this throwback weekend, whether it's family or, you know, one of your favorite drivers. And, um, you know, it's, it's cool that I can have my dad's uh, 2003 Jasper scheme. I'm, I'm excited to get on the racetrack and watching it go around Darlington right now is pretty, uh, pretty cool. Dave, how cool is it for you to, to kind of see your race car from those years ago reimagined and, and with his number on it? Yeah, it's fun. You know, anytime you're a part of that. Uh, if it's a throwback car, it lets you know how old you are for sure, right? <laughs> That's part of that too. But no, it's, it's awesome, it's an honor to be part of it. So he's throwing back to 2003. A lot of people don't remember who finished third in that 2003 race because of Kurt Busch and Ricky Craven, but it was actually your yellow car that was the dot that was getting bigger in the background. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna queue up some video. We're gonna have you take us through the last about four laps of that race. What do you remember? And here comes Blaney. Blaney oh, is oh. now the best car on the track. They were racing so hard, he knew it was gonna slow them down. So just trying to make the best laps I could to get close as I could. Um, and then you never know what's gonna happen, but you gotta get there. Come on, baby, come on. Side by side, two laps to go. Somebody's gotta give, getting into turn one. Are you praying that he cuts a tire and takes them both out and you win, you win Darlington? Uh, uh, yeah, there's a shot right there. Yeah, there's a yeah. good shot right there, but no, just if they, they just get slowed down enough where I can catch them, then you got a shot. You know, that's I guess that's all I was thinking, just getting there first. Um, and they, yeah, they were messing up so much, <laughs> I was getting there. White flag, here he goes. Ricky hit the wall early in the race and he's not going anywhere. He shot right back to Kurt's back bumper. Oh, you know something's gonna happen right here. You just hope you're in the right spot and don't run into it. You know, when they wreck, that was my thought, just don't run into their wreck. Yeah. It happened too late, right? If they'd have wrecked there, I could have <laughs> won. It's gonna be a drag race, wow! They touch, they touch! Craig oh, even got him! I think they got you in the center of that shot. <laughs> How cool is it to, to have a front row seat to one of the greatest finishes in NASCAR history? Oh yeah, I'm sure I thought it was the worst that right there, I like, damn, I should have won, but. Um, no, it was cool. That whole, just racing at that track was incredible in those days. You had to, you felt like you were creeping around there right on the fence as it was so slippery and um, to not make any mistakes all day and be there at the finish was an accomplishment. Ryan, do you have any memories of, of watching this go down? You watch this race a bunch, you know, you watch it, especially the end of these, this race just because it's a great finish and two guys going at it. Uh, but no, I don't have any memory of being there at the time. Well, we appreciate you guys walking us down memory lane a little bit. Ryan, good luck this weekend. <laughs> good luck sprint car racing this weekend, Dave. Thank you. We appreciate you guys watching. Remember Darlington this Sunday, 6 o'clock Eastern time on NBCSN.